What's up everybody, it's Azel2012 here again. I have a short demo game for you today on Hijacked. I'm uh, using the AN94 again, just like my last video. I was running this for a while, uh, trying to get all the camos and stuff for it. And in this one, I'm not running any perks. I have attachments, but no perks. I finished it out not too long after this. Uh, this is a pretty nasty game. Not, not exactly huge amount of kills but it's a pretty high KD ratio I was running up some chaos mosh pit with a group of friends and we we're pretty much just stomping all over teams that we were playing against I mean, this is a real quick demo game game both rounds we plant both of these bombs in like two and a half three minutes and uh, do some serious work here so we'll go ahead and move on to the topic today I don't know why I thought about this earlier but I started thinking about a, a story from a few years ago uh, where one of my old roommates and friends and uh, and I we were all hanging out at a party and this guy that had had a problem with my roommate and friend for a while uh, broke a beer bottle and stabbed my roommate in the neck with it. It was disgusting. It was uh, you know, we were hanging out at the party having a good time enjoying ourselves and it was a pajama party so everybody's in pajamas and I'm sitting there running around in Batman boxer shorts and fuzzy black slippers and a t-shirt. So I look fucking sexy. So <clears throat> we're all hanging out. A friend of mine, we're in the back of the back of this person's house, hanging out, talking to somebody. And a buddy of ours comes in and just as calm as could possibly be, just goes, uh, "Hey, Nate, just stabbed Duval with a beer bottle." And just as flat faced as possible. So we didn't think it was that big of a deal, right? So we walk in, and it happened in the kitchen of this house. And the kitchen's white, linoleum, everything. And it looked like a scene out of a fucking horror movie, right? There's just blood everywhere. These guys are wrestling on the floor with each other. So my friend and I jump in, grab this guy off of him, and we pull him apart. And we realize that the hole in his neck is just spewing blood. You know, it looks like a water fountain. Like if you hit the button and let go after a couple seconds, hit the button. That's what it was like. It was nasty. So he gets stabbed. Crazy shit. They send him to the hospital. I'm trying to keep this guy from doing crazy shit and waiting on the cops to show up. And this was a guy that some of us all worked with and stuff like that. So we're just trying to keep him calm and I'm doing, you know, psychology stuff. I'm just like, all right, look, you, you, this is cool, man. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. And then the cops show up. So the cops show up and they go about this all the wrong way. And they're being assholes, of course, because they're cops. And... They come up to me as I'm talking to this guy that's just stabbed my friend and roommate. And they're like, hey, do you got him? And mind you, they're cops. They have guns. They have tasers. They have pepper spray. Uh, remember taser that comes into play later. And I'm just kind of staring blankly. I'm like, I, I guess. I'm a pretty big guy. I'm like 6'2", you know, 300 pounds. I'm a fat guy. Ooh, triple kill off the bat there. And then get fucked over. So... This guy stabs my roommate. The cops show up. They're like, oh, are you going to take care of him? Can you watch him for a second? I'm like, well, I guess you know this is my fucking job now. So they investigate this. So after a few minutes, they cuff him. They're getting ready to take him to jail. At this point, he's hammered, drunk, fucked up, all kinds of shit. And he decides that he wants to start shit-talking the cops. And screaming about how he's not going to go to jail. It's not going to happen. So there's like three cops around him. And they decide that they've had enough of his shit, so they pull the taser guns out and they start pointing it at him. Oh, watch this optic azazel right here. Just a little bit of nasty sniping for a moment. Nasty spawn trap. It's cheesy. It's shady, but whatever. It's awesome. So these cops decide to pull up and tase the shit out of this guy. And seeing somebody get tased that you you know don't like, uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, it's it's pretty awesome. They tase this guy, and he's so fucked up that he doesn't drop. So a second cop tases him, and he still doesn't go down. A third cop runs up, dry tases him in the back of the neck, tases the hell out of him, drops his ass. The funniest thing about the entire thing is that as soon as he hits the ground from the taser, he's like moaning and groaning and whining and crying. And he goes, I just... I just pissed in my pants. And I thought it was fairly good justice for what had happened for the time being. Now this entire situation was completely fucked up and stupid, but 
the whole time that he got tased was absolutely hilarious. That had some serious humor in it. So I thought it was pretty funny. I figured the tasing part was uh, a, a funny enough story to share with people, and they'd probably get a kick out of that. This story's gone around for years. My roommate, you know, and my friend, he ends up being fine, you know. I mean, it, it damaged him quite a bit for a while, but nasty. Oh, headshot, super quick scope for the win, game-winning kill there. So I just wanted to share that story about tasing. I thought that was kind of funny. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Give me a like. Hit me with a subscribe. Let me know what you think about it. Hit me with some feedback. I appreciate it. First video went well. Hope you enjoyed it. This is Azazel2012. You guys take it easy. Appreciate you watching today. Have a good one.